Welcome to Land Academy. This is the cash flow from Land Show, where we show you how to buy unwanted vacant land and sell it for more on the internet. I'm Steve Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We, we are, are your hosts. hosts. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we are the experts in this niche land flipping business. We hold a drawing to win a free property every month. Enter to win by reviewing this show on iTunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com. All right, let's get this show started. Steve Butelli here for Land Academy. Welcome to our Cash Flow from Land Show. In this episode, Jill and I talk about how we managed to build a better life together and how you can too. Jill, great show today. I love these these uh, philosophical big picture shows. Me too. Before we start, let's take a question from a caller directly out of successplant.com, our free online community. Awesome. Billy from Oceanside, California asks, I'm just starting out and I've been seriously grinding every day in long hours. I've not been using the direct mail campaign you guys talked what? about. I know. Is direct mail worth the money? Oh my gosh. So I, Billy is, I love that he's in success plan clearly and kind of looking around and thinking about doing this. So I, um, I, 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 I see where he's coming from. He sees the success and he's asking some, asking some questions. So go for it, Stephen. Yeah. So, uh, here's the typical path that people take down the, down the land Academy path. They get the free ebook and write the very first thing in the free ebook, uh, what it says is go through this exercise on Craigslist. Post a posting that says, hey, we're real interested in it, and choose any market, uh, any Craigslist market you'd like. We're real interested in buying your land super cheap. Please uh, let me know if you have some for sale. And, and uh, but we but please know before you respond, we're going to we're not going to pay market price or anything close. It's going to be cheap. And so and the typical Land Academy member does that and gets has a little, some type of response or success. In fact, a lot of cases they end up doing a deal right from there. Then they purchase our cash flow from land program. Uh, and then after that, they, they get involved in data to doorstep, which is our, our uh, product where you send out mailer. Mm-hmm. And then from there, the, the success is, uh, you know, it's celebrated. So if you question any of this and you're skeptical and you should, listener, go to successplant.com. And uh, there's people in there that are, that are actual members talking about this all the time. And experiencing a ton of success. So my qu- answer is, Billy, um, if it's time for you to do that, if you've taken those other two steps seriously, the Craigslist step and the cash flow from land step, um, please, uh, you know, take that logical next step and, and get data to doorstep. Direct mail is totally worth it. There's no better way to buy inexpensive property. Mm-hmm. In the universe of ways to buy inexpensive property, um, there's... Purchase a tax lien, super complicated. We do it, but it's very complicated. And if you're new at this, I would suggest that you you put that on your list of things to learn in a, in a couple of years from now. But the first way and the best way, and it's what Jill and I do every single day, is uh, send out direct mail offers and you're going to buy property for half. Can I share something? Yeah. Okay. This is because I noted this. I, I, I One of our top, top members, you know who I'm talking about, Luke. Um, Everybody loves you, Luke. Yes. Um, He's probably too big and too good for even listening to this podcast anymore. Well, I'm only sharing some stuff because he shares it in success plans. So I know it's okay to say, but I mean, he's he's now averaging a deal a day, buying and selling. He started a day. And he started the, with Craigslist. Right. Well, I don't know if you noticed what I saw the other day as far as how how he's flipped the switch, man. Talk about, I mean, it was great. He started it. You were like, you just said, it was like last fall. He tested it. Obviously it works. Not, not only did he, is he diving in and just going for it and killing it and doing fantastic, but he really is going at it. Did you see how many downloads he had last month? Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. You know, Jill and I, um, every month we get it, we, we, our product, we uh, provide the best data on the planet for doing this. On, on a subscription basis and and every month we get we see who downloads it mm-hmm. right we don't make it public but we see it and he, he, Luke is always it's no surprise he's always number one on the list for downloads and he's <laughs> number one in buying property so and I don't think that's an accident to you mm-hmm. nope I agree so yes it's worth the money but you got to make sure that you understand how to use the data and direct mail and things like that uh, before you go out and purchase it which is kind of what we teach right Education first, then we provide the tools. Yep. 
you know, and I do that all the time when I have, when I have these great calls, people schedule calls with me. If you want to schedule a call with me, go on our website, you'll find a link that you can schedule a call. If you have some questions, you're kind of on the fence. And that's, um, the thing that we talk about is I, I, I say, don't, don't jump the gun, you know, do this right. Yeah. And, and don't, you know, and even we were talking about this morning at breakfast, you know, this, this, uh, person I've been communicating with a little bit recently, and I could tell that there's some budget constraints and I, gosh, I get that. I understand things like that happen in, in our lives. So, you know, don't push it, do it when it's right. You know, what's so funny is it drives me crazy when I hear other people saying, um, not in my office, but I'm just saying in other realms, like, well, put it on a credit card or do whatever. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you will never hear me say, well, what's your credit limit? No, or no, can no. you up, you know what I mean? So I'm like, no, that's not the kind of operation right? we run here. Well, that's just the wrong path. Anyway, yeah. that's not who we are. We're the, we're, let's all save up. Let's all do this the right way. That's right. Joe. When thank the time you. is right. That's why we're partners. And thank you. And so, you know what? And I tell this to people all the time. I don't care if it takes six months. I'm not going anywhere. We're going to be here. Right. So sit tight. Do it right. Please budget so you can do this. Because you don't want to do it half blank. You want to do it half hockey, whatever this. <laughs> hey, you know, um, you want to do it right. So, and then. Hockey stick. Well, you know what they say that symbol. <laughs> what? A like hockey stick, hockey stick, or whatever. You know what I'm talking H-E, about? H E double toothpick. Is that what it is? That's yeah, it. But that doesn't spell A S S. I know. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm so. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to share. Are we done with this question? Because I thought of something funny. Yes. When it's time, get the get data to doorstep, but don't do it too soon. Learn first. Yes. Go. Okay. Go. Cool. All right. Stephen is is uh, always calling me. Very nice, funny, endearing things. Well, usually they are. Like prin- like princess. <laughs> That's true. I'm just teasing. But I love what you called me recently. Uh-oh. It was so nice. I'm, I'm afraid. It was so good. What did I, say? I can't be responsible for what I say. You beach people. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, and I, Jill and I are in Manhattan Beach right now on a sort of vacation. And uh, we're, we're st- sitting here staring at the ocean. It's gorgeous. And uh, these beach people... Are, it's a whole different thing. They they have figured this their whole a life out. I'm convinced. Mm-hmm. I got up early this morning and uh, all the kids were going to school, laughing, and their pe- people were done surfing, or some of them were starting to surf. Some of them were done get going to work. And what a lifestyle! You mm-hmm. beach people, we have this figured out. You beach out, people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everybody in Detroit this morning is all angry. I can say that because I'm from there. No one's you, happy. You know, it's great. Stephen, is this ties into our topic, your better life? Uh-huh. You beach people. That was my comment. I said, you know what, Stephen, you're a hundred percent right. These beach people have it all figured out. I mean, seriously, everybody here, um, because it's not cheap to be here. I mean, they they, they gave up something, mm-hmm. or 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 they work hard, yeah, extra hard in some way. They just know how way. to live life. It seems like right? they have their priorities straight, right? To have this life. Okay. Yeah. You know, the guy you just saw that was coming up, you know, from a surfboard, you know, peeling off his wet suit to race home, take a shower and put a suit on. Maybe. Mm-hmm. No, that's what it looked like. You and described it perfectly. Yeah. You just left out the vo- old Volvo station wagon. Because <laughs> he's going to get into a different car in a little bit or something. Or no, maybe that's the car he has. Yeah, yeah you're I don't right. think he cares. Yeah, that's you're right. the whole he doesn't point. Care. He doesn't care what he drives. Yeah. He's got his priorities straight. That's true. You know, his, his surfboard was worth more money than that car, I'm sure of it. <laughs> That's called <laughs> having good priorities. I agree. If you have a question, uh, we just got a, a new 800 number, and it's permanent because our show's big enough now to have that. So uh, <laughs> if you have a question, just like uh, uh, Oceanside, um, the, the guy from Oceanside, Billy. Billy, call 800-725-8816. Thank you. So Your- I... Go ahead. Your better life, Jill. Yes. This is uh, on Jill's side of the yin, the Steve and Jill yin and yang. This is uh, more on, on Jill's side. I'm all information and Jill's inspiration and motivation. Thank you. And uh, 
I love these types of topics, you know, because we, a lot of the shows are informational. Mm -hmm. This is inspirational. Am I saying that right, Joe? Would you call it inspirational? Would you say motivational or inspirational? Maybe both. Depends on, depends on how you take it. Some people, they just need a little, oh, that's a great idea. Inspiration. Some people, they need a kick and that's motivation. You can have all the information and all the tools to succeed, but if you don't have inspiration and motivation, which I think is equally as important, it's all going to just be a doorstop. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. going to be sitting in your closet unused. And uh, that's where Jill comes in. Thank you. I had a lot of great calls this week with a lot of new members. And that was one of the things that came up um, when I'm asked, okay, um, okay, I, I I'm in, I, I, I want to do this. I want to, I want to be like you guys. I, gosh, I, I want to have this life, you know, I want to, you know, make this money, whatever. What are the downfalls and, or, or what do I need to know? And I or, love, or I where love, am I to get hung up? I love when you, Jill, I love when you bring up actual stuff that happened. Like when, you know, you talk about the deals that we're doing or the calls that, that you get, because I just think there's so many people listening that are have, maybe have the same question or yep. they're thinking the same thing. So go ahead. Yep. And how do you answer that? Well, it's it's not hard. I mean, I, I one of our members put it beautifully the other day in Success Plant, which was, you know, Steve and Jill are here to teach me exactly how to do it, and it's up to me. I'm either going to do it or I'm not. I mean, and that's it. I mean, we, you and I provide all of the tools, all of the resources. Everything the pros use, meaning us, to do this and the and the education, all the pieces, but I can't make you do it. I can't make the you I can't make you send on the mailer. I can't make you answer the phone. I can't make you list a property. And you so you've got to bring that to the table. And and um you've got to have your big word, Stephen, has always been ambition. And mm-hmm. I love that. So you've got to, you've got to have that. And, um, I think people need a source of inspiration and motivation. I mean, some people need it constantly. Mm -hmm. Even I do, you know, I, I just think everybody could use a good dose of, uh, you know, Jill type inspiration that's all rooted in reality. It's not pie in the sky silliness and like, you know, we're crystal, crystal worshiping, I call it, you know, and there's, I'm not knocking that. I I, if people uh, have some crystal thing, that's fine. That's your thing. But, you know, I, everybody, motivation com- and inspiration comes from all different places. Yep. And uh, a lot of my inspiration and motivation comes from Jill. Thank you. And it doesn't cost anything. Thank you. We know that ties into, I think, you know, a lot of people do those. Um, have you, you ever seen like a dream board or something like that? I've never made one, but you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. I think for some people, that's their thing I've 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 seen people you know my friends maybe it's on their desk off to the side and they cut pictures out of a magazine and they're oh they have, yeah sure you know what I'm talking about yeah, it might like be teenage a, girls have them in their bedroom <laughs> no that's totally different <laughs> okay that's All right that's I'm, that's I, that's a whole different thing I'm gonna zip it and yeah. then uh, you tell I'm not gonna explain that one <laughs> <laughs> no this this Okay, here's here's my thoughts on this. For some people, they need a bulletin board. They need something right there on their desk to glance over with whatever their motivation is. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a place. Maybe it's a uh, a vacation, a dream. Uh, I've even seen people like a, put jewelry. I'm not kidding. Jewelry goal. and cars. I know. But for no, whatever like it is. No, like a goal. Yeah. Something to shoot for. Yeah. And, you know, it's just something that's special to them. And there you go. Now, for me... You know, my, I, I've never had done one of those and I kind of, I've always scratched my head going, I don't, I don't need that. I don't have that. I have it in my head and you know what mine is. Do Would you know it, what mine is? Your uh, yeah, source of inspiration? Yeah. No, I don't actually. Really? I mean, Seriously? I could guess. Oh, this is so good, Stephen. All right. If, if I had my version of that board, it would look exactly like the view I'm looking at right yeah, now, Stephen. A beach house. A shack on the beach with a $3,000 Carmen Gia that doesn't start half the time. That's right. probably what would be on your board. Well, it's it's just a picture. It's a picture of the water and the beach and beach people. 
That's me. <laughs> You're beach no, people. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being totally serious. It's are. fun for people because it, it's great. Listening to this right now, um, I'm telling you, I'm looking out the window at a gorgeous sandy beach in Southern California and the waves. We actually had to close the door, close the big sliding glass window thing in front of us with our view because the waves were too loud to record. Because it, uh, it sounds like, I did a sound check and it sounds like st- st- awful. It, <laughs> it sounds does. like static and stuff. <laughs> but when we're done with this show, I will open up the slider again and uh, listen to the waves again. So how the heck do you do this? This is how I would do it, Joe. And uh, you please, uh, as always, pipe in here. Okay. For step one, this is what I do, and I still do it. Step one, uh, there's three steps here. Take a white sheet of paper or a blank computer screen and dream it up. You know, what Jill just described what she wants, or you know. Mm-hmm. So dream it up, and I do that frequently. I actually carry around a thing in my back pocket full of uh, index cards. It's not index cards. It's a little spiral thing that costs a dollar. And I, I write stuff in there all the time. Sh- ideas for shows, where I want to go in life, the whole thing. Step two is, whatever is stopping you from that, I call it stop the bleeding. Whatever's going on in your life that's stopping you from get, getting whatever is on that white sheet of paper. And this isn't a 30-second thing. This can, this can t- happen over a month. But identify what's, stop the bleeding. Identify uh, what's great and what's going to get you there and what's not good. This is a very difficult thing for a lot of people to do. Um, Nelson Mandela, if you know who he was, was in prison, imprisoned in South Africa because of apartheid for like 29 years, I think, or 20 plus years. You know what the first thing he did when he got out of prison? Do you know, Joe? I have no idea. No. He got a divorce. Seriously? Yeah. The first thing. I did not. Because he had a lot of time to think about it. You you hear about his wife and everything during the whole period. I didn't know that. Are they... Like never, they were never together again, kind of thing. They were never together again. Oh, I didn't know that. So, and I'm not saying your, your oh. spouse is, you know, causing you bleeding. Where did I'm that just saying, come from, by the way? Stop just, the just bleeding. I thought stop. <laughs> stop the bleeding. Get a divorce if that's the cause. Something. What? If something is stopping you, I don't care how painful it is or whatever has to change to get what's on that white sheet of paper for you, then you'd need to take a good hard look at it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Nelson every, Mandela had 29 years to think about it, and he figured it out. Every person who listens to this show <laughs> in the car with their spouse just got a dirty look, and they turned it off. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. So <sighs> here's another thing that might be causing, you know, let's say uh, maybe your bills are too high. You know, your your uh, the thing that's on that white sheet of paper, you can't attain it because your mortgage is too much. Okay, well, you can fix that. Maybe it's your young kid, and it's your parents. It's time to move out. Maybe uh, you need some education, a little bit more education about specifically getting wherever you need to go. Whatever it is, identify what's good and not good, what's stopping you and what you can utilize that's good to get you there. That's it. And then number three, implement a plan. Sit down, uh, turn it to the next sheet when you've got all this stuff going and say, hey, step one is this. Let's get rid of this. Let's uh, increase this. Step two is... uh, uh, let's save some money. I'm just using examples, but make sure you implement a plan, have a plan and implement it. That's how you get it. No, that's how I w- get a better life. And it, it's an endless thing for me. Mm-hmm. I've heard a lot of people over my life say, you know, do you have one goal? What's what, how do you know when it's over yet when you did it? And that honestly, that's just, I don't think that'll ever happen. It's not a dollar amount or, uh, any single thing. I just, I like to constantly grow and, and, uh, you know, and change. Mm-hmm. This is all like crystally today, Jill. I know. I'm really I know surprised you, this you have this much to talk about on this topic. I was a little worried. I had, I had a Diet Coke before this. <laughs> oh, that's what's going on. Now I got it. So how do you do it, Jill? Okay, so here's my notes. I, when I was thinking about this show, quietly in my in my room with my candles lit and, just kidding, <laughs> and the incense i'm just kidding that's hilarious yeah i know no um i my things are kind of similar you know you say get the white sheet of paper out and dream it up and i say you know just figure out what you want it's the same thing um and i number 2 is once you figure it out Go at it 100% and don't 
don't let anybody sway you tell you your idea is wrong or bad or yeah. impossible. Boy, that's a good point. Anything like that. Just just shut all that down. If if you have any, if you've got some real deep in your gut dream, um, if someone's telling you it's a bad dream or a bad idea, then they're not people you should be associating with is my take on that. So that's number two. If your dream is to be a drug dealer and a narcotics agent is telling you that that's a bad dream and you need to get a different dream, listen to that guy. Okay, there are a few exceptions, Stephen. That's not where I was going with that. If, you're, if your parents are saying, just get a job and stop trying, that's not, don't get, get that out of your head. You can right. do anything you want. You can do anything you want. So, and don't be a drug dealer. Thank you. Please. Okay, I don't know where that came from, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Um, and then my number three is enjoying it once you arrive. And side note, Maybe, maybe you're already kind of already there, you know, maybe, maybe there's enough, there's a lot of good things in your world right now that you're not even, you're not even noticing, you know, are your, are your, are your people good? Are your kids healthy? And gosh, you have a roof over your head and nobody's really, you know, hurting for anything. All right. Maybe you actually kind of are already there, you know, and maybe just need to tweak it a little bit, you know, so enjoy what you have. Yeah. So... Sounds like we're on vacation, you know, we're all relaxed and happy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm about to go have lunch on the beach and I'm like, <laughs> there I am like, yeah, you already got it. You know? <laughs> no, just kidding. It's time for the if then portion of our show. And here's today's if then. If you send out a hundred offers in the mail, then you will buy a property. If you send out a hundred offers, then you'll buy a property. If you send zero... <laughs> Then you'll <laughs> buy zero. Hey, join us in another episode where Jill and I discuss your all important success in property investment and in life. Jill, these shows are so fun. I know. I wonder for different people when we're in different places. I bet we are. I think absolutely yes. Think about think about breakfast this morning and the people that we talk to and right. they come up to us and and uh, it's very interesting. Right, I'm sure that changes how we how we are. Mm-hmm. So great show today. I think so too. That's fun. That's fun for me. Thanks for throwing one in there for me. Sure, especially after that long eight part series because that was hard. <laughs> hey, you can buy anything for half price explain it in the next episode we hold a drawing to win a free property every month enter to win by reviewing this show on itunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com if you want to get involved or you need more information about our profitable niche real estate operation call 480-467-0359 you just might get jill at the other end of the line landacademy.com You are not alone in your real estate ambition.